are you? I'm Fred Farias. Nice to see you today. What's been happening today, Fred? Today was a great convocation at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, the engineering department, uh, bringing back together students as well, current and former students, and faculty and staff on the updates on what's going on here at UTRGV, specifically in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Record-breaking enrollments, as we know, this fall at UTRGV, over 34,000 students, the highest ever. The engineering department is the top college with their population of over 5,000 students, and it is at a highest level as well. So today the convocation was to really honor students and the PhD programs that they've established in engineering and in computer science. So they're doing a great job of providing opportunities for our students locally here in the Rio Grande Valley to be able to get advanced degrees and not have to leave the valley and be able to get great paying jobs once they graduate. So Dr. Kapaj went ran through a lot of statistics about the growth and all the achievements, the successes, the national awards. Was there anything you heard today that was new even for you about the success of this college? I, I think there were a lot of great uh, awards and you know they, this college has more awards than any other college here at the university, I learned that. But more importantly, I learned about the opportunities of the internships that the students here from the engineering department at UTRGV are able to have all over the country. It's really impressive. And then they come back and bring that knowledge and share it with their, with their students here and their faculty. And it just blossoms into the next generation of engineers. We all need great engineers. We need people to build great bridges and buildings. And so this is a great program to be able to start in the Valley, to be able to have those opportunities for the kids to go on and move forward. So we should tell the uh, viewers and the listeners that you are the chairman of the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. Uh, in that role, how many times has UTRGV's College of Engineering come before you asking you to approve a PhD program? Well, since I've been on the board in 2015 and chaired the last three years, this will be the first time. But previously, past presidents down here from the Valley, previous before the UT system developed UTRGV, there were programs that were brought before the board before my time on the board that were denied and not given opportunities uh, for various reasons but i was on the board yet so then when they came recently in the last two three years they had great proposals and they were able to provide the need uh, and the affordability to provide the quality of the education to provide masters and phd programs for students here in the rio grande valley and i was proud to make those motions and meeting the students here today they're in the phd program is wonderful and they're very thankful and it's great because people that can't afford to want to be with their families to leave the valley they're able to get a quality education at the highest level right here at home and so amongst the um, your colleagues on the coordinating board unanimous support for what's happening down here it is unanimous support and those two phd programs we passed in the last year or two are but were unanimously approved uh, because people understand the, that the valley is the future of Texas and what's happening here affects the whole country. And so it's, it really gives me great pride and pleasure growing up here in the valley, being a first generation student, to be able to give back and to be able to provide opportunities for, for our students to do well. Dr. Kapaj also said that um, the, the difference here in the valley is La Familia. And he had this incredible story about the family from Reynosa, the yes. two engineers that made sure their, their, their children came over here for a quality education. That was a moving piece of testimony. It was great for Dr. Kapaj to recognize the, the mom and the family uh, with uh, many generations of engineers that studied here at UTRGV have gone on well in working at corporations like Dow. Uh, it's just, you know, it's the trickle down effect of having an education and providing you, and that family probably wouldn't have been able to get the education uh, anywhere else. But they've contributed and they continue to recruit students to help students from both sides of the border to get a quality education. And that, that was great for him to recognize them. And my last question, you picked up an award, you picked up the Dean's Me Medallion Award. Your thoughts? Oh, I was surprised, <laughs> but but I, I'm very thankful. And, and you know, I do this, as you know, Steve, to give back to our community. And uh, that was very nice of them to recognize me with the medallion. 
uh, for helping the university. But you know, it's all about giving back and helping our community. And I'm just very proud to visit with these students that are doing very well and, and their journey, helping in their journey to provide opportunities for them and their families, and then giving back to the Rio Grande Valley. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I would just, I'm very happy to be part of the program and uh, thank you for helping cover these type of events. Thank you, Dr. Chris.